Hi guys, it's Ben here, it's transfer video time, the first that I've released in January, definitely not the last though, if reports are to be believed and the way things are going, we've already got Van Dijk in, of course that was done in December, but now the focus is on Philippe Coutinho and Thomas Lamar, and to a lesser extent, Leon Goretzka and Emre Chan, whether we're going to basically swap both of those players with the alternatives. Um, Coutinho, the saga that really haunted us in the summer, one that we thought had gone away. Um, I really, really didn't envisage that there'd even be much talk in January. I knew there'd be some, but there's, there's some real sort of concrete stuff. And the fact that Liverpool's stance has changed is very surprising, um, particularly with what's left to come this season with the push to finish in the top four, the push to win some silverware. We've got the FA Cup and the Champions League still very much available to us. Uh, and just generally Barcelona's desire to sign in mid-season when he'll be cup tied for the Champions League and when they've got the league not wrapped up but in a very solid position. It seems like it would make very little sense for him to leave the club this summer, but, sorry, this January. But the reports that are coming out, I mean, I'm just sort of looking at a few now. Uh, Chris Bascom today um, saying that he's out of the Everton clash, Coutinho. Um, he wants to move to the new camp in the next few weeks. Um, and a bid is imminent. So 140 million is sort of the figure being touted as what we're likely to receive as an offer. Um, Duncan Castles, of all people, the man we all love to sort of make fun of, uh, is reporting that Liverpool are due to hold discussions today uh, over Coutinho's long awaited transfer to Barcelona, with the English Premier League club signalling their readiness to sell the Brazilian international if the asking price is met. Uh, so, and he's saying 150 million euros, so that is around 140 million pounds. Uh, that's the sort of fee being touted. The offer we received in the, in the summer was, uh, I think it was sort of 118 million with only around 82 of it up front. So, you know, not, we're expecting a bigger offer in January. And with the fact that we've got Mo Salah firing and Firmino's really playing well, Lallana's back, maybe we are willing to let him go now. Um, if Klopp thinks he's going to disrupt uh, the team in training or anything, uh, if he's going to go on strike, if anything of that nature is going to happen. Very surprising this has come about and it's not a surprise that he still wants to leave, of course. His heart's on Barcelona and that's not going to change and look, there is no way he's going to be here beyond the summer. It's all about the next sort of five months for me um, and we need to keep this player he's been playing brilliantly, he's having the season that he's been threatening to have for so long, he's actually been irresistible at times. Some of his goals are absolutely glorious. He's celebrating them. He's happy in terms of when he's on the pitch. Uh, but obviously his heart's in Barcelona. He's not happy at Liverpool long term. He wants to go. Uh, he wants to go as soon as possible. Uh, but I just think, uh, uh, look, it's down to Jurgen Klopp and there's, there's not a man I trust more than Jurgen Klopp. Uh, and he, he'll know the best resolution of this. Um, but if it is to sell Coutinho and not replace him, then that is bad enough, but to be honest, even selling him and getting a replacement, if it is Thomas Lamar that can't contribute in the Champions League, that's still not really good enough for me um, in the short term. I want to win this Champions League, I, I genuinely think Liverpool have got an opportunity to do so with Coutinho in the side, with Van Dijk now in, I think there's a, a good chance we've got Porto in the last 16, we could easily get through to the last eight, not easily, but it's, it's a good draw, and then who knows, so why jeopardise that? Uh, Happy to agree a fee, happy for us to agree a fee now, sell them in the summer. Just got a five months to start with Thomas Lamar in that case, get that sorted, get Emre Chan sorted, get Leon Goretzka sorted, or whoever we choose to replace Emre Chan, he's obviously going. Um, you know, I fully expect Philip Coutinho and, and, and Emre Chan, to, neither of them to be a Liverpool player uh, come August 2018. Um, but I don't want them to, be, to not be Liverpool players come February 2018. I think that'd be a disaster. We need a strong squad for the Champions League. And to be honest, the fee, if it's £130 million, is that that great in today's market? I'm not sure it is with the form he's on. I think he's got to be a lot more expensive than what we wanted in the summer. And I think he could even go on to have a great World Cup uh, as well. Maybe that might alter the price if negotiations are on hold until the summer, if we completely flat out refuse it this time around. Uh, it's not. It's, it's not going to be a pleasant few weeks. We, I mean, like I said, we've had this in in the summer. We know what to expect. We know he wants to leave. We know he'll go to you know ridiculous heights to to get his move. We know he's he's, he's probably going to be in tears if he doesn't get it. But I would have thought that something would have been said in the summer where just give us one more year. Very Suarez esque. Give us one more year, then you can get your move if as long as they pay out the right money. Uh, maybe Barcelona can't afford to pay the right money right now. Maybe that might be Liverpool's ace up their sleeve. Sorry, Phil, 
we gave them the asking price, they didn't pay it, not our fault. That might be an option. Um, but I think the, 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 the most likely outcome surely has to be to let him go in the summer, get a deal for Lamar done and just strengthen elsewhere because I think even though Lamar's a great player, um, it's still a downgrade on Coutinho. We need to strengthen elsewhere with, with maybe a better centre midfielder, you know, defensive one, maybe another striker as well and give Firmino more freedom to play a bit deeper perhaps. Loads of options, but one option is not to sell Coutinho this January. That is my opinion. Don't care how much he's disrupting the place. Uh, leave a comment with your thoughts whether you think we will sell him. I know the bookies have got us. Uh, most likely to sell him. They've got it at one to three that he joins Barcelona. They think it's nine to four that he stays, so they think he's very much on his way out and they don't think Lamar's coming in. I think Thomas Lamar is still odds against to join Liverpool, so could it be Coutinho out and nobody in? I mean, that would really ruin January despite getting Van Dijk in. Leave a comment with your thoughts, your predictions, and what you want to happen with Chirf, with Coutinho, with Lamar, with Chan and Goretzka. Um, I think all four names we're going to be hearing a lot of over the next uh, 28 days or so. Uh, I'll be here talking about it on this channel, so make sure you subscribe if you're new and follow my other socials at Ben Might Say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook. And I'll see you next time.